me this a little them. wink I as if to them, say, guys. this is going to be them. I'm pretty sure is that them? That I think that they're about is, to step out. I can see there? Niall there? Horan is here. It's Niall. So that's Niall's Niall. coming out. He's looking pretty good. Yeah. He's got some shiny like trainers it. on. I like see. it. That's like Niall. It. Hey. Niall's hair. Hello, Niall. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Hello, how are you? Let's have a cuddle. Oh, thank you. I love the first stage of our stage. Welcome to your US premiere. How are you doing? Yeah, we're really excited. This is big. Looks really cool, doesn't it? It does look very cool. Hey, Zane, how are you doing? Nice to how are you see doing? You all good? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. Thank you. Harry, hello. Nice to see you. All right. Nice to see you all right. Uh, and we're just missing a couple of ads. Yeah, how was the journey here? Did you manage to get through the screaming fat? Yes, it's been, uh, we just we just uh, pre recorded uh, America's Got Talent. We've just been on that. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, we've been here for a few days now. It's been a good fun. We did the Today Show. <laughs> Hey Louis, how you doing? Should we do? Oh, should I? Should I do a One Direction sandwich here? Is this? Yeah, let, let me let me slide this way. Right, in fact, perfect. if I come, come behind on. you, otherwise I'll tie you up in cables. Perfect. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna oh, come over here. Great. You can be Lovely. right here. Oh, this is one. I've never. Oh, right. Is this even possible? <laughs> squeeze in, squeeze in. We're gonna go for a cuddle, right? Okay. It's all about the body everybody. heat. So, gentlemen, welcome to your U.S. premiere. This yes. is very welcome. exciting. Isn't that correct, Harry Stars? It is very exciting. Um, I think it's crazy that we have a premiere in the first place, let alone one in America. Well, it's happening, it's here, all the fans are waiting outside, and lots of people watching at home as well, they're all using the hashtag 1D Movie Premiere. Right. Have you got a message for the fans? Uh, well, I just hope everyone likes it, and thanks to the support that everyone's given, and uh, you know, this movie is for them, so big up. We're so excited about you guys being here. You know, we also just played a very awesome PSA for a bullying organization that you guys were involved in. Uh, what's the message of that PSA and what would you like to say to your fans about that? What's a PSA? Public service announcement, Liam. Uh, the anti-bullying campaign. We don't know what oh, that yeah, means because yeah, we're yeah. British, no, no, but yeah. Sure, like, you know, it's great to get involved in that sort of stuff and for us, you know, having like, so much power on Twitter and stuff, you know, we want to spread the word about things and for sure, we've all experienced bullying at school and stuff and being around it, so, you know, it's a message that we want to spread. We were chatting to the producer of the movie, Ben, earlier. He was saying there wasn't that much that he had to cut out of the movie. They were saying a few things. Was there anything that you guys demanded? No, no, no. I do not want people seeing that. Niall. Uh, actually, no, because um, we kind of let them just yeah, film, like, everything, because the only way to make a, a very good... Um, oh. The only way to make a very good uh, behind-the-scenes documentary is by just giving them access to all areas. So we didn't really want to... There was no point where we were like, no, you're not shooting that. Sometimes we were a little bit grumpy in the morning because we don't like mornings. <laughs> but no we, had, no, we didn't really have any problems with it. We saw a lot of shirtless, a lot of shirtless men. A lot of nipples <laughs> on show, boys, a lot of nipples. It was great. I don't think there's that much Harry, in Harry, I think Everybody I've got your chest memorized. Loads. I've got your chest memorized. I think memorized. there's enough to screen grab it and set it as a desktop background. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, was, there, was there a competition to see who could get the most naked? Well, I, uh, I don't think I was topless for any of it, actually, so I lost. <laughs> You did lose. Unfortunately. You could have gone bottomless. It would have topped everyone. Yeah, but sadly, right. Right. the opportunity was wasted. Never mind, never mind. Um, so what can you, uh, for people who haven't seen this movie yet, what can we expect? Imagine, Harry, that I'm coming into a cinema. I don't know what movie I'm going to watch yet. You work in that cinema. Try and convince me to come and see this movie. Hello, hello, hang on. Hello, Hi. sir. Uh, I've come to the cinema. Um, what should I see? Um, I think you should see One Direction, This Is Us. Oh, I've heard of that band. Yeah, those are five sexy guys. Tell me a bit more. Um, I think you should watch it because um, it's a great insight to who they are as people, where they've come from, what their parents think of the whole ordeal, how they interact with each other. It's a great look at how the fans have created them. Uh, is this... You get free popcorn if you, you watch One Direction. You get free popcorn, that's a guarantee. Yeah. Is this guy the manager of the cinema here? Let me just speak to him for a second. <laughs> manager of the cinema. And what can you tell me? This employee here is very convincing. Um, well, Harry here is a very good employee of mine, so I can assure you that whatever he has sold to you or told you, that it, that will be 100% true, and uh, I trust his judgment, so. Friend, not a salesman. Yeah, so sure, friend. okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, reinforce that and say, go see One Direction, this is us. Do you guys each have a, like a personal favorite bit of the movie? Um, well, MSG was nice to watch back because that was such an amazing occasion for us and to, to have that captured is, uh, is great. So that's my favorite. Neil, have you got any favorites? Um, I think my favorite part is probably Mexico City uh, because it was just like, it was the first time we played a stadium and like Mexican crowd was just amazing. <laughs> it really shows how crazy it was down there as well, how, how mad it was with all the policemen that were with us all the time. It was, it was pretty cool. What about you, Zane? 
Um, for me, I guess my favourite scene was the bit at the end where we're all sat around the campfire, like having a little chat about life. Mm. I like the campfire bit. It may be slightly sad because there was talk of what happens when one day it's all over. And I didn't want to think about it, not even for a second. I love seeing your mums buying life-size figurines. That was my favourite. And revisiting this one. <laughs> no, I hate. That. You still have it. He's still there, um, sitting in the room. But we're, I've tried to get rid of him multiple times, but he just seems to keep reappearing. Keeps popping back. Quite terrifying to wake up and see yourself staring you know back at you. We were putting the TV up the ones, right? And I turned around and I whacked my head off the TV because I was just scared by this green figure of me that doesn't look like me that much anymore. Yeah. Younger version of Younger you. Younger version, yeah, yeah. Now, you guys have been incredibly busy this year, not with just the movie, but recording your third album, your makeup launch. Did you, have it, any of you tested it? on your faces is that even am i allowed to even ask that no, yeah no, no we, we don't tested it all on just oh, painted no, his no. face for the day <laughs> no 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 you got a few rashes and spots here and there but i promise it's safe i would have imagined that zane wore it for the last uh video is that right that's correct yeah i was wearing all of our makeup. no breakouts it really covered you well yeah great zane can we talk about you as a lady uh you were fit you look really good i probably would um Talk to me about that process. Did you enjoy dressing up? Did you get in touch with your feminine side? It was fun, actually, um, to dress up as a woman. Uh, I'm sure every guy has fantasized about being a woman for one day at least, just to see what it's like. And it was quite interesting having breasts and wearing a skirt and high heels. It was quite difficult to walk. And How did you cope with the high heels? I, I, I gained a new level of respect for females afterwards. I was like, this is, this is hard work and I get why it's so hard to walk in. Can I feel your calves just to see if they've uh, toned up? That is, that's I mean, amazing. that's amazing. Do you guys regularly feel those? Because that's quite the experience. Yeah, they're very strong and it's something, you know, we all aspire to. Zane You're jealous? Is a great man. He's, yeah, I'm very jealous. Yeah, yeah. Not everyone can have legs like that, can yeah. they? No, they cannot. And trust me, these are not comfortable. But they are weapons. They're fantastic weapons. <laughs> I'm not going to use them on you. I'm not going to use them on you. <laughs> uh, can we talk a little bit about, uh, about the VMAs? Congratulations. Yes, you congratulations, won a VMA. That's brilliant. You guys. Was that fun? The best song oh, ever. Fun, um, uh, and you guys have been chatting to Lady Gaga. Uh, oh, sorry. You lost me for a second there. You guys have been chatting to Lady Gaga as well on Twitter. Liam, I saw you did a little tweet earlier on. Is it weird for you that journey of like a few years ago, you were just kind of going about your everyday lives. Now you're here at the VMAs mingling with the pop elite. Yeah, for sure. That's always so strange for us and we still get so, so starstruck and... Me and Niall met P. Diddy and Jay-Z last night as well for us, which was a little bit mad, so... Um, but it was quite hard to, to talk to Lady Gaga and to concentrate. Niall, what did you chat to P. Diddy about? Not much. Quick handshake. Hello, how are you? And then we just... You know, it's just a gangster respect, you know, you just kind of go, yeah, what's up, and then walk away. Uh, was there a fun we sort of party other. after the VMAs? What did you get up to? Uh, I was pretty boring and left with Zayn. Um, sorry. Wow, <laughs> no one else? Anyone else go out sorry, to the VMA party thing? Story for you there. That is quite right. Um, dinner. Sorry, I missed that because yeah. my friend Went Mike for dinner. to distract me there. A mocktail. A mocktail? Okay, so a non-alcoholic cocktail. Oh, nice. Very nice, yeah. very nice. Um, but obviously delighted with the VMA, right? Yes, oh, very happy. Yes. Yeah, have you got a message? Because uh, lots of people, obviously lots of your supporters, really backing that. The song of the summer, a message for the people who got behind that video and that VMA. Um... Actually, we just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody that voted for us because we found out this morning that the award is actually one of only 50 made and they're like super rare. So wow. like we're, we're really grateful and we can't wait to put it in our house because it looks really cool. That's awesome. Who gets Talking to hold on to it, by the way? Out of the... We get one each. Oh, you get, one, get each. one each? Oh, that's good. No squabbling. Fine. Yeah. Guys, talking about the third album, you're already working on it. Oh, gosh, you must be so tired just yeah, thinking about that. It's nearly, it's nearly finished now, it's nearly complete, but we, you know, we spent a lot of time writing this one. Um, it's very live sounding, and you know, it's very us because, I mean, we wrote up to 10 tracks this album, I mean, there's only 14 tracks on there, so it's gonna be uh, exciting, but a bit more nerve wracking this year because they're obviously a lot more personal to us, the songs. Well, I'm, still, I'm still rocking out to the second one. I'm not yet ready to put it on a shelf and get the next one. <laughs> but uh, what, would you say is, what would you say is the most different thing about this upcoming album that fans can look forward to? To be fair, it's very, very different. And I just think it's just taken su such a much like rockier, more retro twist on things. So I hope that you know, people can adjust to that and they, uh, they enjoy it. Now, we have a oh yeah, I was going to say, lots of people have been tweeting. Hashtag 1D movie premiere. Feel free to que keep tweeting if you want to. The question's coming up down here and it is, ask them if they picked up any American, oh, it's gone. Slang, slang, American slang. American slang. Have you picked up American slang? Oh, American slang. We, uh, uh, what's goody? Oh. What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? Do people what's say Poppington? that? Yeah. Yeah. What's goody? Oh, what is that? And that's like, hey, what's up? I've never heard that before. What? <laughs> Come on, there. 
That's another one. You've heard that ghetto, one? Ghetto, though. It might be like ghetto slang. Other than we, than we know. Liam, what was your one just there? Uh, what's Poppington? And another one as well. Just in Timberlake, what passed me yesterday and did a sup. Sup's pretty sup. cool. Yeah. Raise the eyebrows and a sup. I suppose PSA. No, just in Timberlake, what passed <laughs> me yesterday well, and yeah. said sup. Um, uh, so yes, thank you for your questions. Keep tweeting them in. That's all right. That's, no, that's cool. Okay, you get to meet thanks, Justin thanks, Timberlake. That's yes, pretty yeah, cool. That's yeah, pretty cool. Uh, um, uh, so American, yeah, American slang we were talking there. So sup. Uh, Flipping the bird. That is to do a naughty hand gesture to someone. Okay, you're pre presumably not much use for that, Harry, from time to time. No. Maybe if someone winds you up a little bit too much, you'll flip the bird. If someone says, I don't want to watch that film, you say, well, I'm so going to flip you the bird. Can we just it's talk so about hard. birds for a second? Because be we were chatting well, earlier. Apparently, two of you have phobias of birds, specifically mm -hmm. pigeons. There was some big pigeon chat. Pigeons. Not, not a fan of pigeons, not yeah. Of What's birds? wrong with a pigeon? They're a lovely animal. They're, they're Come all, on, Louis. They're all right, but I once went into my bathroom to have a, uh, have a, a very calm wee. It was using your shower gel. And uh, no, actually, it was in there flying around, and uh, I got pretty scared. And I realized well, while I was weeing, which is the annoying thing. Because obviously, then it's all everywhere, you know. That is terrifying, yes. Trying to go to the loo with a complication of a pigeon is not ideal. No, not uh, ideal at all. So Fortunately, we have a tent here, so you, I think you're good. Yeah. And we, we do have a special announcement that you all are making. It involves a very large check. Yes, it does. Do you, so, do you, do you all know about this? Hello, you. a very Mr. special Mr. check man. Being, being made on behalf of uh, Office Mary Depot. Wong. She runs our foundation. And One Direction. Very nice. So this is Mary. Mary's bringing on a little check for the boys here. Up. So who's speaking on behalf of this project? OD. Let's get a mic on you over here. So talk to us about what's going on here. Uh, together with uh, One Direction, by designing some fabulous products, we've been able to raise $1 million for anti-bullying education across the US. So thank you, fellas. That's amazing, you guys. A million dollars. A million dollars. A lot of money. A lot of money. money. That's a lot and of money. Of you guys. And that is a fans, very big so check as well. Thank you for that. You're gonna need to find yeah. a large bank Thank to cash that. All right, we'll have to hoist that over in that in that direction, and this one direction has to start making their move down the black carpet through the throngs of people. Yes, lovely to see you. Yes. Nice you. Thank you all so much for stopping by to talk to us. Have a Blast tonight. Mwah. Have a blast. Mwah. Mwah. Oh, and you guys stay cool. I know it's hot out here. Stay cool. <laughs> and there you have it. Super, super sweet guys. And now they've got to face the uh, the crowds that way. Now they've got to face the crowd.